familiar faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? What they really saying is, I love you. The story goes, I was five years old. My mother and father took me to see Lionel Hampton at the now Paramount Theater. And he gave me a set of vibe melodies when he walked around the thing. And they say he laid some spiritual vibes on me. I think that he was like a really king of swing. Lionel Hampton is incredible, man. Greatest vibe player ever was. Great, one of the greatest drummers also. Greatest band leader. Everybody who became anybody went through his band. Miles, everybody, including Quincy Jones, everybody. Lionel Hampton is um, he's the ultimate. You know, when I first heard uh, the phrase uh, that Roy Ayers is the godfather of acid jazz, it was uh, a disc jockey of uh, London named Giles Peterson. When I heard it, I thought uh, immediately, I thought immediately that acid jazz, I was thinking in terms of LSD. And I was kind of like confused at the time. It's going back, you know, it's several years. And um, interesting, um, then I started saying, wow, it's just like acid, like in a battery, it eats right into your brain. Jazz, acid jazz can eat into your brain and you can become addicted. And uh, so I thought it was, it was really cool. I've had so many terms. People have called me the icon man. They've called me the king of acid jazz. They've called me uh, acid jazz soul. Whatever people want to call me is okay, as long as it's something that's positive and that, that, that has an essence to it, has a meaning to it. Uh, because uh, terminologies change all the time. People uh, give different styles of music a new, a new name or whatever, and it becomes, uh, this is the bat, or the, the house, or whatever. You know, so many things change. So I'm, uh, I'm just happy that they uh, think uh, of me as uh, something new terminology. That's good. Paris, I finally made it. Are you ready? Yes. So, blues, I can't lose. I want you near me. Woo. Why can't you hear me? You seem so far away, baby. Please don't stay astray. I would have to say, um, uh, out, out of all the musicians, uh, Miles Davis is most inspiring for me. Miles Davis uh, performed with Charlie Parker. And all of the great people who played with Miles became known. The musical eras that he went through, you know, from the cool period to the swing, to the really the hip modal period with Train, you know, and all the and Cannonball, through all those periods, and then he went into yeah. Bitches Brew and all the other things. Incredible musician. To me, he's the, the master, the master musician of all the musicians. You know, I always wanted to play with Miles, but he never called me. God, I, I, I knew all of his music, everything. I always wanted to play with Miles. People don't know that, but um, it's incredible. I admired him greatly. Uh, I have a lot of uh, respect for him. and. Uh, I did get to spend a little time in his house 
And Herbie Hancock had told me, he said, you know, Miles will hit you in the stomach to see if you're in shape. And I was at the house and at the time, uh, George Foreman was going to fight Ali. And I was close to Miles. Every time I was close to him, I would tighten up my stomach. And Miles hit me in the stomach real quick. And, and I said, oh. And he said, oh, you're in shape. And I, I was so proud. You know, that was that. that, that. Miles, I mean, somebody hitting me in the stomach, but Miles Davis, that was incredible. Mm -hmm.